So today I thought I would talk about Mr. Dobby Vanity, uh, Blow on the Dance Floor. Um, one half of Blow on the Dance Floor at least. Now Blow on the Dance Floor is luckily not a thing anymore. But I feel like there's a need for me to speak about this issue of this man, child, creature. I want to say Dobby Vanity is not a creature. This is a creature. Creature is good. Dobby Vanity, not so much. Oh, bye then. Okay, that's great. That's just in my view. This is a serious video. Can you get I am choosing to speak about this issue because I want my viewers to know about this issue and I want people in the world just to know more about this disgusting man. So Blonde the Dance Floor is a scene band. Honestly, they're kind of like the definition of what scene was. Um, it was them and Jeffree Star and Broken Side, but I want to just focus on Blonde the Dance Floor. Blonde the Dance Floor is a band that is formed by Dobby Vanity, who is a disgusting piece of shit. I just want to say I was a huge fan of this band and a huge fan of Dobby and Jay. Um, I still like Jay. Jay's fine. I've actually never met Dobby. I went to their house once um, when we did a Brian Starr's interview back in the day and I got to meet Jay, which was cool. Um, he was nice. There was nothing really bad about it. The main reason of making this video, though, is because I want to talk about Dobby Vanity. He's a sack of shit, rapist, pedophile. Uh, pretty much scum of the earth. I genuinely stand by those words and genuinely do believe that that is what he is. Um, if he wants to try to sue me for saying that, then come at me, bitch. But it has just grown over time with people coming out about stories that are even currently happening today. I want to point all my viewers in the direction of people like Pastel Bell and Chris Hansen and all these people that are covering this story that actually, you know, have things that they're adding and are interviewing uh, the survivors that have dealt with this ugly human being that is Dobby. So I've been looking at the situation a lot. Uh, it's affected me actually quite a lot because I stood up for Dobby when I was younger. I thought that people were kind of coming after him because he was an easy target, I guess. And that's how he presented it. And from a fan's perspective of Blow on the Dance Floor at one point, I don't know why I liked their music, but I did. It drew me for some reason. Dobby has done with his fans uh, with trying to persuade this narrative of, oh, I never did any of these acts and I never you know, took advantage of my young fans or anything is completely fucking disgusting and horrible. And it's heartbreaking for the people that actually looked up to this guy a little bit uh, when it came to his music and actually were fans of him because now they supported somebody that is a piece of shit. And they were trying to believe in the good that he was trying to say. He's like, oh, I'm all peace and love. If you look at Dobby Vanity though, like he always said his music was about love. It's not, it's about sex about sex probably with minors horrible music and the guy cannot do music like you know there's there's a fine line of who can do music and this man just get the fuck out of here what i want to say is look at this photo that's all i have to say that is kids and dobby vanity kissing um i posted this on twitter because i saw this photo and i was like that's all you fucking need why are the police not doing anything i don't understand how they're not doing anything look at this fucking photo that is children kissing a grown man looks like from a lot of those photos though that it's in the early stages of blow on the dance floor so don't worry guys he wasn't like somebody that became a pedophile uh later on his in his career he was a pedophile the whole time so that's fucking great the main point of making this video though is i see people that are still supporting him that are still fans of him and even you know back when i was a fan of him there were stories that were out about uh dobby and the way that he twisted the narrative and stuff definitely could brainwash kids and brainwash his own band members and brainwash his own crew and even brainwash the victims um i just want you to know he's an abusive piece of shit and he's lucky i don't see him because i would trip him and he would fall in a puddle that's not a threat that's a promise i actually wouldn't want to touch him because he's gross uh like i yeah, no. My purpose of making this video is I just want my viewers to know and people that possibly still support Dobby because I am in kind of a similar scene as Dobby Vanity and I was a fan of him um, when I was younger. I just want anybody that supports this man still to this day for some fucking reason, even though he's pretty damn irrelevant, please look into all these videos like Pastel Bell's channel and all these people that are actually covering the story and interviewing victims and survivors of the story please look at those videos they're highly important even if you don't care about this band even if you never even heard them blow on the dance floor the reason why it's important to get the news out about this story and the reason why i'm covering this is because i want more people to be spreading awareness about this man we should not let people get away with being child predators we should not let people be getting away with being rapist if you look at dobby vanity he's also done that to fucking adults he goes after everyone. I just want you all to be aware that that is not okay. No band member should ever treat you that way. No one in the world should treat you that way. No one should try to take advantage of you, especially when you're a child. It's fucking disgusting. Hey, can you shut the fuck up? 
Can you shut the fuck up? Fuck. This is why I don't film the outside. Really upsetting that he's gotten away with this for so long and he's still currently a free man. And I do not believe that that is okay. And I do not believe that that's something that should continue. The best way to get people like Dobby Vanity and himself to get actual punishments and to actually be put in jail is to have awareness and have more people coming forward and sharing their stories and feeling safe to do that. And I just want you all to know if you have a story with him or if you've dealt with anything that's similar to this situation, that is not okay and you do not deserve that. And people that are adults that take advantage of fucking kids are sick people that need to be thrown in fucking prison and rot. They are not good people. No one should be doing that. If you look at Austin Jones, who is another piece of shit human being that is rotting in jail, thank God, uh, that's hopefully where Davi will be going. That's exactly why people need to be coming forward with their stories though and uh, supporting each other in these hard times and with these hard situations is because it can actually pay off. With Austin Jones though, he is in prison for 10 years, which is great. Um, and that's just another sign that we should really be pushing this Davi situation and making sure that he actually has to pay for what he has done. And thank you for feeling comfortable enough to share your story with the world and to try to put this man behind bars like he deserves. It is sick that this guy has gotten away with it for so long. There's a reason why Spotify does not have his music up on fucking Spotify anymore. It's because he's an actual pedophile. There's so much evidence. It's fucking sick. I mean, I was watching interviews of so many people crying and I'm not gonna get into it. You know, I, I know a lot about this band. I know the history. I've seen a lot of the people that have been highly involved with Dobby's life coming forward about the situation. And I had no idea that it could be this horrible. I, I had no idea that anybody could be this horrible. But here we have the face of fucking disgust, which is this man that wears a fucking horrible rainbow wig. I just feel an obligation to tell my audience to not support people like this and to be aware of this person existing. I do not want any of my viewers or followers to support this man. No one deserves to be taken advantage of in the ways that this guy has taken advantage of people. And I just want you all to be aware of that. And I know people have said it a million times, but for some people, maybe this will reach a little bit more because maybe they care about what I have to say. Don't let adults take advantage of you like that. Uh, and don't let a irrelevant band guy fucking ever take advantage of you like that or any band person or anybody in general. They should not be doing that. It is not okay. To anybody that's still supporting this guy, you need to really do your research. You really need to fucking think. You really need to use your brain. There is not, there is no way that 40 something people are making up all these stories when there's literally fucking evidence right here. If you watch a lot of these people's stories as well, they all are very similar. That kind of shows that all these stories really do line up because he's always doing the same shit. He's always asking for the same way. He's always kind of going about it the same way. I think a lot more outlets and people should be addressing the situation. It's not a fucking like little thing. Or a lot of people seem to think that, oh, this happened like 10 years ago, so who cares anymore? Oh, they're irrelevant, so it doesn't matter. Uh, no, it still matters. Even if it all happened 10 years ago, which it hasn't because it's still happening to this day because that guy's a fucking idiot and he uses the same account to fucking talk to little girls, which is disgusting. It's just really heartbreaking to see a lot of these people's stories and to see that there's no justice yet. And I just wanna say I support anybody that's coming out with their stories, support anybody that's had to deal with this man. I am so sorry that you had to be in this position. And to anybody that's dealt with anything similar or is going through anything similar, I have your back. I love you. I'm so sorry that you're going through this. You will make it through it though. You're very strong. And these people deserve to be in trouble. No one deserves to get away with being a predator. No one deserves to get away with being a fucking creepy little son of a bitch that abuses people and rapes people. That is not okay. It never will be okay. And it needs to stop. I just needed to vent about the situation. It's really affected me emotionally, actually, like, because it's fucking horrible to watch. And to see people get away with it, it's just horrible and I just want to support anybody that is going through that. And I want to support all the victims and survivors. I want to support you guys. I'm just really frustrated and just felt a need to speak out about this. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed what I had to say and have a good rest of your day and stay strong and please educate yourself on the situation and spread the word about how this man is a fucking disgusting piece of shit that needs to be behind bars. And how I can't speak. Yeah, I'm so weak. Oh, no.
miss you.